right guys join me back up at the oaks today and i'm actually on the new lake so it's quite a bit different bit of carp fishing not been out in a little while so might be a little bit rusty but hopefully good venue to do it on I'm gonna catch a few fish no matter what so right looking forward to it drawn peg 29 on sycamore not fished these lakes in over, over about a year to be honest so not sure what to expect hopefully they're all pretty decent pegs we'll catch a few fish let's see how we get on so just a quick look at the peg peg 29 on sycamore So I've actually lost a little bit of footage from this day. I had pressed the wrong button and we ended up filming it, well, most of it in a time lapse, so I do apologise, but I'll talk you through how it started. <laughs> so I've fished maggots short, the top kit in two sections. So I've plumbed up a line there, chucked a method out, and then I've got one down edge on pellets and then one where I'm fishing now, down to the left-hand side. I sped some ground bait, which wore match method and crushed expander 50-50. So I'd made that up night before, over wetted it a little bit, just so it's nice and heavy. Also, I find if you put some of the liquids in there, so I like the, the krill one or the banoffee, also it makes it a bit heavier and it just stops it all wafting round. And then on hook, I'd either fish bunches of maggots or double F1 corn. And it seems to pick out the bigger fish and you've also it's a heavy hook bait so it sits on bottom and when you get a bite 99% of the time they're in mouth you don't get as many fowl hookers if you do it like that I think sometimes if your rig's too light you can get a few fowl hookers so yeah just like that so I'm fishing down there at the minute I have had a few short as well so fishing on maggots on bottom and then we're getting some indications so I've set a line up already on a shallow float and there's some nice hide in this lake and in ash as well so they're worth targeting they're quite big fish and obviously I do the silverfish matches up here so I do like targeting the hide <laughs> and I'm reasonably good at catching them I'd say so like I say the sycamore and ash have the hide beaches I think it does have some but they don't seem to catch as many for some reason I don't know if there's as many in there it's one of them so yeah that's what I'm doing at the minute so I think we have got a little bit of footage, not sure what's on it, but I'll show you what I've got. So this is the bit of footage that I'm on about. Don't worry, it's not your eyes that are playing tricks on you, it is the footage that is a time lapse that's slowed down. <laughs> that's what you get, I have a few months off fishing, have a little break, come back and forget how to work equipment. <laughs> Just press the wrong button and not looked at what I'm doing, that's all. But this is the worst it is and then Hopefully it gets it gets better again and because I've done it now I'll know in future just to check what I'm doing. But this is obviously fishing the shallow for the eyed. You can see the lovely stamp eyed. Just throwing maggots out of my hand on a top kit and two sections. Just laying a rig around, throwing a maggot in, letting it float settle and then just literally just keep laying it in going around my feed as well as in it and I can catch quite a few of these but obviously because mainly carp in here you do need carp to win but during sections of the day or parts of the day it can get a little bit slow usually the last few hours are really good especially this time of year as it's still quite cold as you can see it's really wet it's not stopped raining most of the day not heavy but just constant drizzle and I catch hide in the middle of winter and I know that they're gonna feed so I like getting bites, I like being active, so I target the hide. And I did start off on bottom, but they soon come shallow, so just keep throwing maggots in and just keep ca catching them. I do, like this is a carp, so you will catch the odd carp doing it as well. So even though you're targeting the hide mainly, obviously it's, it's going to be won and lost with carp, so when these come along, it takes a little bit longer than usual to get them in because I'm fishing slightly lighter. By that I mean I'm fishing a 12 elastic rather than the 13 that I'm fishing down the edge. So it does slightly lighter. I don't want to lose a mide, but there we go. Nice carp. Always a welcome bonus. Pop him in net and just keep flicking them maggots in, going back out. And then, yeah, just keep. Laying my rig in, 
So I'll do this for like 15, 20 minutes or so, then have another look down the edge. So as soon as I can catch them down the edge, the better. Let's keep laying that rig in, working it, changing my depth, trying not to catch a duck. It's not what we want to do. It does happen every now and then. Look at them fried. If we caught these in winter, it'd be awesome. Obviously, we fish a different lake, but they do catch them on these lakes in winter, but they're not the lakes that I come on. Predominantly carp here, so... But I do enjoy catching them. Just keep flicking that rig in, fishing a right nice light rig. Just working it. Like I say, I'll give it 15, 20 minutes or so, catch a few fish. Go down to edge, see if there's any carp, if not... I'll come back to catching a few more ride. That's what it's all about, just working it. Keep putting fish in net and you end up with more than what you think because they, they do weigh quite a lot to these hide. Just all of my depth a bit there. Just throwing the maggots in by hand. You can go through some bait when you're fishing like this. Not the stamp that we want them. <laughs> because you're throwing maggots in by hand, you can go through quite a few pints. And I have got a rig up, set up on bottom for underneath this, so if I stop getting bites all together all later on in the match, if I can't catch down my edge for whatever reason, I'll have a drop on bottom, see if there's any carp, do fish maggots short, and if not, you'll obviously catch a few hide as well, but at the minute they are shallow, so I just get liners and foul lookers, I might as well just plod away and fish for them as I am. So I'm going to give this up now and then keep feeding it and I'll go and have a look down at edge see if it's out there yet. So we've got a couple of hours left of the match now. Obviously I'm still filming in my, my time lapse mode. I don't think it's quite as bad as the shallow <laughs> for hide fishing but it's still not the best quality. I do apologise for that and obviously... I won't have a little break in future and all my filming from now on should be back to its usual standards hopefully. So yeah, I've been feeding down this edge, so I've potted in ground bait, which is my match method and ex crushed expander. So I've potted in that, left it a little while, like 15, 20 minutes or so for them to settle. And then I've gone down with double F1 corn on hook. I've got a pond end, just putting a few grains of corn in there, a bit of ground bait, and I've had a few down there now. I'm doing doing all right. I'll have, have quite a bit. Don't know how the rest of the lakes are fishing. I don't think it's fishing too well, but I'm just plodding away, putting fish in net. Like I say, I've had that good spell of hide. I'm still feeding them, and then catching a few of these down edge. There we go. That's another one. Not bad size fish. Just keep plodding away. I'm just gonna repot pot now. So every now and then, if it's taken a, a little while, I'll put some bait in. Just putting a bit in down that side, just in case I've got to go down there. So obviously keep it topped up. And then down this left hand edge where I'm catching a few, just feeding it with my little pot and then when I feel it needs a pot I'll put a big pot in so if I don't get bites as regular or I don't feel like there's many fish in peg I'll repot it give it 10 minutes 15 minutes for them to settle back over it try to catch some hide and then go back down there and then hopefully I reckon in that last hour I probably won't have to leave it so I'll be able to repot it and they'll be on feed then so I'll just pot it and go straight down and then if they are, if they are, if I've got to wait, I'll play it by ear. And obviously I'm not going to sit there for 10, 15 minutes without a bite when I know it takes 10, 15 minutes for them to come in. So as you can see, I've got a, another one. So that's actually an eyed, which not the intended species down there, but when they're that size, you don't really care. So I'll just keep topping it up.
So back down this edge, as you can see, I'm not having to wait too long for bites. There's a few fish down there. And when the rock up, you can put decent weight together of these because they are quite big fish. It's all about making the most of them spells when they're in and obviously these last hour or so, a couple of hours, they, they do get in down them edges. So it's, you can be doing no all day especially this time of year when it's not big weights. In summer here it gets ridiculous with weights. Obviously there's a lot of carp in here and big weights do get put together. And if you're waiting then you're out at race, whereas this time of year I do like it because you need a steady 150, 200 pound max. But if you normally get a tonne, low tonne, you're usually there or thereabouts. Obviously as it warms up a bit, it gets better and better. But yeah, I like it when it's like this, you've got to work for your fish and it's always dead tight up here. So you're always in contention and there's a few ounces to say the weights. There's always like a few ounces or a couple of pound in between or on different lakes. So you never know where it winner's going to come from. It's good fishing. Yeah. Keep plodding away, getting a few bites, putting a few fish in net. That's what it's all about. So I'm going to get this one in and then call it there. I think get my head down and try catch some fish, put them together this last hour or so, see where I end up. So I'll leave you there and I'll catch you when I get it on. So I've had a, a lovely day fishing and it's been right nice to be back out on bank after having a few months off, I'm back. Despite the rain, obviously it's rained all day more or less. I've still caught a load of fish, had a lovely day, and I've ended up with 122 pounds summer. So I've managed a section with that. I needed 123 pound for mainframe, so I just missed out. And I think 128 pound was second. So it's always really tight up there. If I'd have been on it a bit, a bit rusted to start with, a bit slow starting as well, obviously. I'd not seen my gear for a while, prepped as much as I can, but it's one of them but lovely days fishing never gonna question the main frame or the the main winner he's had 170 odd which i don't think i could have had to be honest but i could have definitely managed second but despite that lovely days fishing caught a load of fish i don't even enjoy it video sorry it were a little bit all over places in the filming wise filmed in time lapse but we'll see you on the next one cheers guys <laughs>